Shri Gurubhyo Namaha children. Welcome to Online Teaching Academy, Kalaiva. You are in uh, class 12, uh, Entrepreneurship and we are in unit uh, 3, Enterprise Marketing. Uh, today we are going to discuss about um, sales strategy. Um, we are already um, aware of um, giant companies like uh, Hindustan Lever, Procter & Gamble, Nestle, Honda, um, TVS. Now each of these companies have their own brand names, they have their own products and they have been selling the product in the market and they are promoting the, their product. Now each of the companies uh, to establish the brand in the market, they have some um, sales strategies, some sales plan. Strategy means plan. Each company they have their own plan. How are they going to sell the product? How are they going to brand the product in the market? How to create demand uh, for the product in the market? How to get new customers? How to attract new customers? How to retain the new customers? Right. So they have to plan. They have to make long term plans. They have to make short term plans. And they should have a, a strategy, strategy of selling, okay, selling the product in the market. Now it can be a direct strategy or that is direct selling or it can be an indirect selling. Now what is direct selling? What is indirect selling? What are the criteria that you should keep in mind before you make a, a sales strategy or a sales plan is what we are going to learn in this class, right. Now sales strategies. A sales strategy consists of a plan that positions a company's brand or product to gain a competitive advantage. Okay, so it wants to establish that particular brand in the market and then uh, before uh, the brand is uh, you know like introduced in the market, the, the plan when you make a strategy you should have a clear idea as to who is your competitor, who is your target market, okay, how are you going to sell it. Now all these sales plans should be, uh, the, the sales representative who is going to sell the product should know very clearly okay, as to what the market is, what the product is, how is he going to sell it, hmm, who are the real competitors, all that he should be aware of. Now every, like as I said, big big companies like we, uh, as I told you, Procter & Gamble or Hindustan Lever or um, um, Nestle, all these companies they have a marketing heads, under them they have um, sales heads, you have sales uh, area managers, you have sales representatives, okay and um, they are trained very well, okay, they are trained to sell the product, they are educated on the sales plan, this is how we are going to sell the product, this is your long term goal. Now for example, uh, you have um, TVS 50, okay, uh, what is going to be your uh, total uh, sale like per year you are supposed to sell 12,000, then in a month how, you, how much you are supposed to sell, 12,000 you are supposed to sell, that means then you have a short term plan, is it within a week how much you are going to sell. So likewise the sales plan is not very simple, okay, you have to be very careful when you make a sales plan because it is not for a short term basis, it is going to be on long term basis. You do not start a business keeping in mind, okay, I am going to be there for one year, I am going to be there for two years. You want to be there in the market, you want to compete with the existing uh, uh, customers and you want to brand your name and you want to be successful, right. So the successful strategy helps the sale force. Focus on target market customers and communicate with them in a relevant and meaningful ways. Now a successful state strategy conveys this so that the sales force spends time targeting the correct customers at the right time. Now the sales representative or the head of the sales team should have an idea of what is the market about the knowledge of the market and then you should know you should have a knowledge of the company then you should know the customers uh, um, uh, you know the uh, company knowledge you should have a customer knowledge then you should know the metrics and you should know the art of selling it and then sales knowledge so uh, a sales plan or a sales strategy comprises of all this market knowledge company knowledge customer knowledge sales knowledge and the art of selling it sometimes you know you would have experienced it when there is direct sales you know when vacuum cleaner was introduced you know you you must have seen how the sales representatives they went door to door canvassing 
okay they took the instrument with them and then they demonstrated there are some technical products you know which needs direct demonstration they bring it to your house and they show it to you how this is how you should use it so uh, some customer, sales people you know they're so talented you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have even thought of buying the product but the way they talk the way they express the way the way uh, they you know motivate you you feel like buying a product so there are many uh, people who come door to door sales direct sales it is not only door to door say home sales it may be retail sales going to shop retailers okay so sales can be retail sales or wholesale sales even institution sales so um, uh, so an representative as i said he should have a knowledge of all this so a, um, a sales plan should comprise of all this okay the success um, so the success a successful sales strategy conveys this so that the sales force spends time targeting the correct market okay now um, criteria of sound sales strategies what are the criteria how should a strategy be a sales strategy should be well defined and presented in an unambiguous statements like it should not be very ambiguous like it should be confusing if it's going to be confusing nobody will understand it should be very simple and very clear they should have a specific product market focus now uh, see for example nestle if you take there are so many 100 100 products under them okay or oh, if you take maruti or if you take honda there are so many brands so many cars in different names now each uh, a brand or each uh, model how are they going to tar- uh, thing sell isn't it so for example uh, mm, i'm into, I, i'm already having noodles in the market i want to uh, sell biscuits maybe they they use different promotion methods so if you buy one noodles and then uh, um, one soap free or buy a noodles and one biscuit free you know promotion techniques okay so they must act towards gaining competitive advantage of the firm so this is the criteria of sound sales strategy creating awareness about the business environment okay planning an effective sales strategy requires looking at the long term sales goals and analyzing the business cycle as well as meeting sales people and familiarizing with their career goals now um the sales people to a great extent apart from the promotion advertisement um, personal selling and all that a sales representative plays a very important role in the success of the product and uh, to make uh, you know to reach the product you know there are some products which uh, um, you can um, um, sell it directly directly you approach a retailer or a wholesaler or or somebody and then you sell it now there are indirect sales strategies also where it is through the intermediaries who are the intermediaries i told you to the wholesaler retailer all through the agents all that uh, like for example colgate paste okay colgate or a face powder or a face cream it is available it is it has a wide market isn't it it is available in nook and corner of anywhere you go so how is it possible okay all that is because of the di- indirect uh, selling not direct selling door to door if you are going to sell colgate toothpaste when will you sell it and when will people use your uh, use toothpaste and face for wash and all that it's not possible isn't it so long term plans now for example uh, honda city or uh, maruti you take and uh, they might be having an annual long term plan this particular year this we have to sell this much uh, honda city we have to sell 1000 cars per year or 12000 cars per year that means per month how much you have to sell then per week that is short term pl- plan and long term plan right so planning an effective sales strategy requires looking at long term sales goals owners and managers gain more intimate knowledge of the sales intervals seasonal changes and what motivates the sales team helps in increasing short term performance of sales After creating long term sales strategies based on the long term goals sales managers create monthly and weekly sales strategies now um, actually um, sales people you know they have targets uh, there will be a sales manager or, and the, under the sales manager you will be having sales representatives and assistants now each of them a um, sales manager will have a target sales representative they'll have a target they'll have long term target they'll have short term target like you have you have to sell your product isn't it how are you going to sell your product and you have to sell the product it's not enough if you sell the product you have to bring in new customers and retain the existing customers also so an effective strategy uh, sales plan will have all this included in it all right 
So now see example I have given you Maruti. Maruti aims at selling 20,000 Swift Desire. That is one of the models of the car. During a year, that is 1,700 cars monthly, 385 cars per week. So this allows for short term performance measurement of the sales team. So uh, once, uh, uh, you know, the as I told you, the success of the particular product also to a certain extent not only depends on the price but also on your sales team. And uh, like uh, you have to make your long term pl plan and your short term plan, okay, long term plan where you have more uh, like uh, if you would, you would, if you have uh, uh, somewhere around 12 products each product will have a separate sales plan and how much you're going to who's your target market who is your target consumer how are you going to satisfy your consumer if it is your automobile thing continuous service that is very important what if i have a car then i i what i expect this after sales service is very important if i buy a washing machine if i am after sales service of the washing machine is not good then i i almost you know i uh, i i will almost uh, not feel like buying it again and i will maximum possible tell as many number of people as possible see the service is very bad please don't go for it so i should make sure my sales plan is such that it is a success i can bring in new customers how can i get new customers Word by mouth, like for example, I buy it, I tell. That is only one way of advertising. There are other medias where mass media, you have pamphlets, you have televisions, and uh, there are so many ways where you can advertise. Isn't it? Radios. So you have media through your word by mouth and um, uh, pamphlets you distribute. And after using the product, display. Okay, so above the line, below the line, uh, we have already discussed about it, isn't it? When we are discussing about uh, promotion. Mm, above the line advertisement, through the line advertisement and all that. Okay, so next we go to um, types of sales strategies. That is, uh, as I told you, direct and indirect sales strategies. Direct sales is what pe sales people attack the competition head on and when talking to the customer, they talk about each feature of the competition, uh, comp uh, competition's product and compare it to the, theirs. Now, uh, for example, um, each um, you know like a sales representative they go and meet the customer i told you about the vacuum cleaner or maybe if they want to if they're introducing an air conditioner they go and speak about uh, air conditioner or if they are going to bring a smart board or they're going to bring a touch board or a new computer is coming in or a new cell phone is coming to the market they want to sell it personally they go and speak about it now this direct sales strategy is also called as negative sales strategy you know what when you explain about when you explain to the customer of the, about the product you also explain to them about the negative aspect of the product as well okay so that's why it is called as a negative sales strategy also so indirect sales strategy indirect sales strategy is only through intermediaries like wholesalers retailers agents and all that so apply more subtle techniques by demonstrating features and benefits not available with the competition's product or services without ever mentioning them by name. So this more sophisticated positive sales strategy requires research and analysis of the competition. All right. So next is um, components of sales strategy. What are the components of sales strategies? One is product placement promotion testimonials and core selling strategies so what is product placement you place a product in the mind of the people I mean, for example uh, uh, through advertisements what type of advertisement for example you take a movie in the movie a leading star like you have uh, Kamala Hassan or uh, um, uh, Amitabh Bachchan or uh, Amir Khan or somebody they um, you want to promote coca-cola they drink coca-cola or you want to sell uh, popularize your brand mm, uh, 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 for example a car or a swift car or a honda city or a tvs 50 or a new tele uh, thing television that is coming in so they keep switching on the tv and you know in the movie it is shown as that uh, actor the lead actor is using uh, uh, that particular drink or um, soup maybe you introduce a nor soup into the market and you that particular person says nor soup i like nor soup can you make that or maggie noodles you advertise the product through televisions that is called as product placement product placement basically is an advertisement technique used by companies to promote their product through a non-traditional advertising technique for example appearance in the film television and media coca-cola could pay a given fee to have the main lead drinking coke 
Shah Rukh Khan driving Royal Enfield bike in a movie. That's an example. Okay, promotion. Promotion techniques, there are a lot of ways to promote a technique. Now, for example, manna mix, health mix, when it was introduced, in front of the supermarket, they were having a, an umbrella and they, used, they, they were literally making the mix. Okay, and they were, there was a jug full of manna mix and it was served to people. And uh, you see where uh, something in cosmetic, if you go to a supermarket, you will have cosmetic corners where they promote Lakme and other uh, cosmetic products that come into the market. They will tell you, okay, we will apply free. Okay, uh, test free, madam. Lipsticks, when they are introducing, they give you free. Free samples. Or when uh, soups were introduced, soups were given free. Where people, you know, they flock. Normally in big uh, supermarkets, like you see big bazaars or big plazas, big, big malls. In front of them, they uh, have such stalls and they promote. Even you can uh, talk about uh, uh, SIM cards like order phone sim cards one by uh, like uh, if you buy one and then like you know you get free of course you get for one month you don't have to pay for your calls etc et with so many uh, you know like um, um, discounts given to you so promotion refers to all such activities which intend to inform customers about the product of the company and persuade them to buy this product so promotion makes use of various tools like advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, personal relationship, etc. So advertisement is not the only mode of promotion. Okay, if you buy within, uh, if you buy uh, uh, four uh, hammam, one hammam free. Okay, if you buy a family pack, actually if you buy, there will be six in that family pack, you have to pay only for five. If you buy one shampoo, one soap is free. Likewise, you have promotion, okay, you promote a product and that is another way of advertising and selling the product, fine, okay. Testimonials, testimonials is businesses must make use of social media network like Facebook and Twitter where you post your comment. Now, uh, if you, like normally, you, if you want to know who is a good dentist or a, a good uh, orthopedician or a good pediatrician and all that, if you go to a website, you can find out. Uh, okay, who is the best person? The name will come, and then people would have given a comment. Okay, he is very good pediatrician. You can go, etc., etc., etc. Likewise, this is applicable even for the business. Okay, now customer testimonials and feedbacks should regularly be posted on the company's website and be readily available for prospects to read and watch. Core selling. See, there are a number of strategies available for the salesperson to carry out their responsibilities and duties effectively. The success of these strategies depend on identification and analysis of those factors that are treated as drivers of, drivers of selling strategy formulation. Example, customer service, corporate image, technical, technological leadership and product positioning. All right. What are the functions? Functions of sales strategy. Regardless of whether a business uses a direct or indirect sales strategy or a combination of two, sales managers need to work with the salesperson on techniques. So whether it is direct strategy or whether it is indirect strategy or whatever it must be, it is the sales manager who has to work through his representatives to penetrate into the market and establish the brand and to establish a constant sale of that particular product. New customer acquisition and customer retention requires two approaches. Now already customers are there. See if you go to um, Reliance supermarket for example, the moment Reliance or Neil Grease or now even other supermarkets have started. The moment you go, they will ask you to register and they will give, give you a card. And each time you purchase, points are added. So now you have a temptation. Now you will not feel like buying uh, your um, essential commodities or electronic commodities or textiles or whatever. See, you have Reliance Trends, you have Reliance Fresh, you have where you can buy vegetables, you can buy your groceries, you can buy uh, whatever you want, your textiles, anything, even electronic things. So they are actually diversified into different divisions, isn't it? And what they do is, um, they'll give you a card, a Reliance card. You can use each time you buy, points will be added. So now you have a temptation, okay, points are added. When I can redeem the points also. End of the month or end of the year or every six months, I have around 500 points, 500 rupees. That is 500 points is equal to 500 rupees. I can buy goods worth 500 rupees. Now that is another way of retaining the customers. 
right new customers definitely people will go and say i have a card uh, i only buy from there i get redeem uh, i get all these benefits i say buy one get one free or and uh, when is it, and uh, you know each of our numbers are already there with uh, these people reliance trend or pothis or chennai seals wherever you go for shopping we give our numbers and um, they are at advantage they'll be sending messages a wednesday day uh, the cauliflower is sold if you buy one cauliflower another cauliflower free or they say pothis now for you have adi sale if you buy one sari two sarees free or if it is your birthday then you have 10% concession then if you have marriage in your house you can come and uh, do shopping in our uh, place we'll give you 15% discount 20% discount home delivery this that all is you no know, retaining customers so these are all sales plans isn't it so new customer acquisition acquiring new customers is part of a sales strategy and then customer retention require two approaches what are they a sales strategy lays out the steps and methods necessary for a customers in different stages okay potential customers need communication that introduces the brand and product or services in a way that show how it can how it can solve his or her problems see normally a customer will buy a product only when it is satisfied and the sales person should convince the customer uh, by uh, telling him all the positives and negatives and the sales person should also know what is his requirement what is the problem he is facing now because of uh, he is having some problem and if he uses this product his problem will be solved right now see the fairness cream that come in the market if you apply fairness cream for uh, uh, one week then you will be glowing like uh, a princess and uh, like uh, you have so many examples like this isn't it so the potential customer need communication so you have to communicate to him properly tell him what are all the pros and cons of the product and you should be able, able to study his problem also what is his problem okay once you know his problem then you can give him a solution right so the current customer require more personal communication about the new features or benefits to keep them engaged so the already you, you have to bring in new customers how can you bring new customers you have to tell them this product is available okay now earlier uh, there was no uh, advertisement earlier we had only barter system exchanging goods for goods then uh, used money currency started coming in then buying and selling was taking place trading was taking place isn't it then after that um, now there's a lot of competition you have more than so many companies okay with so many products and each product has to reach the consumer and for each product there are buyers <coughs> now how to retain these customers that's very important isn't it <coughs> <coughs> so current customer require more personal communication about the new features or benefits to keep them engaged promotions and referrals discounts work to motivate current consumers to spend their money and to spread the word to others so as i told you if you uh, buy um, i happen to go to a reliance trend outlet when i if you buy uh, for uh, diwali okay if you buy for 1000 one cooker and uh, two three utensils free okay now that i bought I, actually if you buy for 5000 you will be getting all this discount i bought for 4100 another 900 rupees spending madam 900 rupees you spent you'll be getting a cooker and two three utensils which is essential for you so you're provoked to buy you said the 900 rupees okay after all 900 rupees i am getting worth things more than 3000 okay then there was another offer you know there's a very interesting offer if you buy for 6000 rupees you have to pay only 3000 you can take worth 6000 material but 3000 rupees you have to pay so the promotion techniques and then you keep getting messages keep getting messages that uh your your daily offer weekly offer monthly offer if you buy provisions for 3000 this 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 free this much discount 10% discount if you buy for uh, 500 rupees worth 2 kilo onion free definitely you will you will rush flock you know onions are so expensive every day price is increasing right so promotion and referral discounts work to motivate and current consumers to spend their money and to spread their word to others what are the considerations what all you should consider before you plan for a sales strategy creating an effective sales strategy requires market knowledge awareness of the competitors activities awareness of the current trend what is happening now if you are going to sell 2 uh, like 20 years before what you were people are using if you sell now 
nobody is going to buy you have to change what is the latest trend what is the latest fashion no, you, that is there not only in textiles in automobile industry in consumer there were maybe 30 40 years you, did you uh, did you see noodles you you knew what it is instant noodles you have instant uh, uh, mix you have your pongal instant pongal mix why all this has come there is a demand for that isn't it instant uh, uh, you have you know this um, paneer masala instant mix instant upumas you have okay instant everything is instant why we are all running people have no love you have uh, you have two people in in one family you have two people husband and wife then both of them are very busy they have no time so this is there there's a demand for the product okay so trends change the way you look the way you dress you need uh, latest you, uh, the, we, we didn't even know how to use computer six or maybe you can say one year back we didn't know what is zoom what is this um, uh, thing uh, webex we didn't know we didn't know what is uh, zoom like we, we started using it and so there was no suddenly there is a demand for uh, laptops suddenly demand for uh, cell phones why need of the hour so according to the change you now see hand sanitizer nobody was using actually hand sanitizers were there in the market but nobody bothered to use it we were not using tissues we were not using wet wipes it was not all necessary now it is it become very essential we knew that okay if you go around with a, if you go out without a mask now mask was there it was there mask was there but nobody was using it only doctors were using when in the operation theater you find them their nose and face and everything covered and when they're going to the operation theater they were using actually we are supposed to use it but if you had used it six months or uh, ten months before people would have look, looked at you differently if you had used a hand sanitizer in front of them oh my god i don't know something is wrong with her every very often she is using hand sanitizer she has to be treated but now it is a need of the hour right so trends change so awareness of the current trend and detailed business analysis small business owners wishing to create and implement sales strategies for the first time may want to hire professional business consultant to help guide the process so making a plan making a business plan is very difficult making a sales plan is more difficult so if you are a fresher if you are a budding entrepreneur okay and uh, you are uh, you want to promote your product it is better you approach a professional a professional business consultant who will help you okay who will teach you how to make a uh, a, um, a sales plan okay sales plan is very important because and particularly if it is going to be uh, if you are going to uh, follow direct whether it's a direct strategy or an indirect strategy you should have a clear cut plan as to how we are going to market your uh, product how we are going to employ your sales force and how you are going to educate the sales force how we are going to retain the customer how we are going to create a new customer to buy your product fine so i hope you understood uh, the concept children and um, you have an assignment for the day a sales strategy is important for business do you think if yes why okay so you can answer this uh, in 250 words uh, thank you children uh, next uh, in our next class we'll be dis discussing about uh, promotion and promotion mix all right uh, thank you once again uh, to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you children see you in the next class